John verses 19 through 31. Familiar passage of scripture. So when it was evening, is everybody there? Say amen. So when it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and when the doors were shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them both his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, their sins have been forgiven them. And if you retain the sins of any, they have been retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples were saying to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Until I see his hands, and the imprint of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days, the disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors having been shut, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. He then answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, have you believed? Blessed are they who did not see me and yet believe. Therefore, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ.
footprints until I put my hand in his side. He still hung out with the believers. That's one of the things that you and I have to do. We have to be hanging out with believers. Amen? Amen. Because the Lord meets us when we hang out with believers. Encouragement comes from believers. Thomas hanging out with the believers. If you've got doubts about God, got doubts about the Bible, got doubts about Jesus, this is the perfect place for you to be in church. Hanging out with believers. The third thing I love about Thomas is that he is eventually faced with, with reality. Touch my hands. Touch my side. He doesn't waffle. He's not stubbornly prideful. He says, my Lord and my God. He makes the decision given the evidence that he got. I like Thomas. I like him because he's authentic, because he's honest. <clears throat> but I love the Lord because when I run on empty, he meets us where we are. Whatever that closed room, whatever that locked room is, that's where he meets us. And when he meets us, he gives us encouragement. <clears throat> He shows us love, offers forgiveness, fills us with his presence and his power, gives us a new reason to live. And then he helps us to believe. He gives us the evidence. And the evidence for us may not be, probably isn't, in the tangible thing as the nails in Jesus' hand or the gash in his side. But the Lord will give us the evidence, his spirit, witnessing with our spirit, that we are the children of God. So what do you do when you run on empty? Do you say, well, there's enough to keep going? Or do you say, I need the Lord? And when you come to those places, when you've locked everybody out, do you understand that the Lord comes, reveals himself to us? Comes into whatever locked room we've put ourselves in. Encourages us. Loves us. Forgives us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. <clears throat> we always don't understand those things that enter into our lives, oh God. We don't understand our doubts, our fears, misgivings, whatever it might be. But we know that you do. You understood exactly why those disciples were in that upper room. <clears throat> you knew exactly their fears. Their frustrations, their hurt. And you encouraged them by being where they were. Meeting them where they were. And you do the same to us today when we're running on empty. So thank you, Father, for your word today. Thank you for blessing us with your holy presence. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. 191. <clears throat> All of that which I talked about today is made possible because of the blood of Jesus Christ.
Let's stand together. Remember, no matter where you are, the rest of this day, the days ahead, the weeks ahead, no matter what condition you find yourself in, no matter what doors, what rooms you've closed off, and so forth, the Lord meets us where we're at. The Lord loves us. The Lord takes care of us, encourages us, forgives us, empowers us to meet each day. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to bless your people today. Meet each and every one of their needs. Meet them where they are. Bless them, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Have a great Sabbath afternoon.